Now again, you see the regional rail, the sector, yeah, in Fernwood right there. You see the riders uh, over here. We, we saw some local uh, talent. Uh, I'm joking, I, I don't know. We saw some local lights. People waiting for the, uh, you didn't get to see them, but you, I went to pay the a water bill. It took me a minute to find uh, what I needed as far as the paperwork, the bill slip. Like I said, I'm surprised. Somehow I got a stick in my shoe. I'm about to go up here and wait for the sub the bus. Like that was the R3, the regional rail. I'm about to wait for the bus, ride the bus down. Uh, some people would be saying it's a waste of resources and want to restrict resources and act like it's a waste. But again, they stole my car. Again, they keep trying to fraud me. Again, you're broke, but you steal. A lot of people don't like that. A lot of people. Like, I would think some other crimes are hated, but apparently people really look down on thieves. Now, like, I was a little kid thief. Like I said, I escalated from thievery to tapping pockets to selling drugs and I settled down. But, you know, I was a little clep, though. That was real. That was the first crimes. Uh, not that I'm proud of that, but that's just the progression. It's a natural progression from where I was in my shoes. My one body wanted to be like Michael where I was in my house. I'm joking. Now, no, I'm joking because there was a lot of people that wanted to be ball stars. Uh, but you know, I might, I might walk back. I might walk back. You get what I'm saying? Give you a greater appreciation for the hood that is Yaden. You get what I'm saying? Uh, we got, we, it's a great amount of diversity in culture. We got the Moses Employment Agency. I might check them out. They, they do that. TT Auto Tags. They diversify their bonds. I don't know what the hell this is. It's a wellness place. I'm gonna have to go in there and see if some of my plans have been bootlegged. Oh. Now, back here in one of these cribs, I got a Tales from the Afterlife. <coughs> we was in there, me and my homie, past homie, we, ain't, we don't associate no more in my therapeutic life and his uh, life doing whatever he's up to nowadays. Uh, we, we was, uh, he had a custody. I don't want to put it on him because even though we gang war and I just speak, still speak the truth, but, and some people will be like, I'm passing the buck. Like I said, when it comes to other people's uh, tales from the afterlife, I like to leave it up to them. But I feel like this is a funny story. So we were we were showing one of his custies. It's on a reefer. Uh, this is an old head. We was like teenagers. The boy was probably late twenties, early thirties, and he had like it was they. Those are apartments back there. Some of, them, some of them are apartments, you get what I'm saying? So, uh, he had like this over the uh, garage loft apartment, you get what I'm saying? So we in there, we blowing heavy green, we blowing chronic, everything's normal. It was a hood homie white boy. So he had the little techno uh, electronica club EDM shit going. And we was just blazing blunts and shit like that. But then all of a sudden, it was like, uh, 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 take your shirt off, get undressed. I was like, all right, it's time to go. Yeah. I don't know. That's pretty much the story. But when you're high and it's, you hot box in the loft of a, a garage, and then you just, it's, a, it's not a sausage party, but it's close enough. And I think the boy already might have been chest naked. But like, yeah, you know I mean, not an uncomfortable level of check, chest nakedness. He was probably having his chest naked with his uh, cut off shorts on, jean shorts. But then when the music switched from just regular oonch, 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 to take your shirt off and shit like that, he ain't had no glow sticks. 
can't handle the little sticks here. He he wasn't dishing out the uh, party pills, the ecstasy, but you know, it was still a little bit uncomfortable. So we was like, all right, it's time for us to vacate. But, like I said, and then like over by the field, like those are where we did our wake and bake morning sessions, other than uh, down the street from the high school. I'm not, I'm not promoting honey dutches or syrup dutches or whatever your rolling apparatus is. Uh, but it's not like, I just would say it's not like codeine for those in this new age. It's not a codeine blunt. It's an Aunt Jemima. Uh, burn slow. You know what I mean? Situated. I don't know what day it is. I don't know if that's a part of the Yaden Democratic Party over there working. Not that I want to pick anybody's brain right now. I'm trying to get to the girl. Uh, in my afterlife, like, I feel like, you know what I mean? Thanks for sharing. Uh, sometimes it's a struggle uh, not to go upside some people's heads in your recovery. Um, daily uh, frustrating events. You get the urge and praise beings to pick up a crowbar at times you know you witness some things you've been desensitized uh but you try to appreciate the small things you know uh balling on your level parking lot pimping on your level you get what i'm saying you know that could be house shoes in the milk crate uh whatever shouts out to my man mr carter uh Now, when I was a young boy, if you haven't been to Yaden in a while, now I had to be a long while, they used to have them tire swings. Then they had like the frisbee golf shit or frisbee basketball, I don't know, but this is a uh, two decade old upgrade. Um, this house right here, like, I don't know if how chill it was, but when I was a little, uh, little young boy, People told me it was like an orphanage. You know, there's a lot of people. It was a house up the street from my block where the people used to uh, like do a lot of fostering. But that was another house that they said. It. I don't know how true it was, though. They said it was like an orphanage. It might have just been a lot of foster kids. I don't know. Like I said, it's a nice neighborhood, quiet environment. Uh, my tales of the afterlife are from my youth. Uh, I no longer associate with any of the people I grew up with. Uh, and like I said, I'm not trying to throw shade for the most part on camera. I'm not a throw shader, but I, I really wouldn't do that on camera for the most part. Or on televised camera or whatever you want to say. I make jokes, but just complete shape. Like, I don't even, like I said, I don't even get to sneak this in. Like, the tales from the afterlife is just like the same. Like I'm saying, I was there. Weird shit from weird situations. And like I said, that was weird. And it is a, a minority neighborhood. And even at that point in time, it was 90% black. But 90 plus